Mark, how you doing? Doing great. How you doing? Man? Thanks you for ready? coming, man. Yeah, ready for this. Always do a good job. Thanks. You get nervous Thanks. at all? I appreciate it. A little bit of nervous. A yeah. little bit of nerves. Yeah. 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 You do fine. That's this why place, you, you get those nerves, but you don't need them. You, you, you yeah. Yeah. yeah and, uh, you know, all new to me. So just kind of trying to learn as we go. A lot of good things to talk about. You do yep. a great job here in the uh, township. So I appreciate a lot of help to you. Focus on A lot that. of help to you. I'll do that. I'll do that. Great location. Yeah, absolutely. You see these cars sound amazing. Great venue, great place here in the township. We're so fortunate to have them. And then obviously all these cars and then the, uh, the, the neon signs, the banners that they have, all the history that they brought in here. You can't say what the value is because it's just, as they said, walking in, it's just uh, priceless. Oh, well. yeah. Well, one time I was here, I got invited to uh, Jay Leno. Actually did stand-up comedy. I got invited to be here while he was doing it, and I'll tell you, and in fact, they had Jay Leno in this garage. It was amazing because you're about to do your state of the township address, but you got to wonder sometimes, even if those comedians, when they get up there, they get nervous before, and you know, I got to yeah. you know, you probably do too. Yeah, you know? nerves go. Yeah. I'm getting a little nervous. We all, you know, get, we all get a little bit nervous, but yeah. you don't need to worry about that. This is uh, this is uh, nervous today. I mean, yeah. It'll be it'll be a little nerve-wracking for me as we work towards uh, the the time to speak, obviously. Yeah, and it's coming up. So. So, yeah. yeah, well, let, let's talk about that. I mean, let me let me give you some advice. I'll kind of tell you exactly what you need to do to make sure you do a good job. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 Like you got to think about, you know, sometimes you mistake something, you're looking at a word, and maybe you didn't say it right. Uh, don't apologize. Don't look at that and go, oh, my God. I made it. So you got to have a little bit of humor. You know, kind of be a little bit funny sometimes. You know, don't be that stiff, you know, police chief. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be a stiff police chief. Labor to um, it, you know, and style. I mean, you got to look good. You look at really good, by the way. You're going to the bathroom ahead of time, will you? Make sure you're going to the bathroom before you get out on stage, because one of the worst things is all of a sudden, like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. I mean, you know, I throw some eye drops in. Got to make sure my eyes are really clear. You know, just kind of goop it up with a little bit of eye drop and uh, make sure, you know, whatever. But when it comes out of politicians, don't be talking about every one of them and point to them and have them stand up with her. You're the most important Mark, Mark, person. I, I 
appreciate it. I appreciate all the advice. I, I, I got to get going. I, they've, I, I may get a ride in here. They're going to give me a car to drive into the stage. Uh, I, I'm not sure which one it is, but you want to come with me? I'd love to have you ride in with me. It'd be is great. It Duesenberg? It could be. I, I'm hoping either the Duesenberg or that Ford, that Mercury back there, the Ford Mercury. It's like Volkswagen bus. That's the one I'm shooting for, but if you want the bus, um, maybe we can work that out. Leave it to Corey. They, they've got a car. It's going to be pretty exciting. I'd even like cruising in on this thing. That's going to be beautiful. So, I'm absolutely. Excited. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, if you don't mind coming with that. The girl loves the great. Awesome. Holy cow. To introduce our guest speaker for today, please welcome County Executive Mark Apple. County Executive Mark Apple. Jeff White, 33 MX, see? He's got the very same outfit on. 
<laughs> in fact, that actually did happen, by the way. People were walking in and asking him, saying, Sir, where is he? Such and such vehicle. And it turns out, this is I'm Jeff White. I'm the guy up in Oregon that's kind of a police commissioner dude. I'm not a curator. So, with that being said, we want to thank all the curators and stalls for opening the doors and give us an opportunity to see this beautiful facility. Those that are here for the first time, well, I can tell you, you got to bring your family, your kids back here to check this out. What, uh, what an absolute treasure we have here. So, with that, I don't want to leave it with you anymore. I got a burger to finish. It's actually cold since we've been sitting out there. That beautiful vehicle that we have to drive in on. And uh, I'm going to finish the cheese on this cheeseburger. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, your township supervisor for Chesterfield, Brad Kirsten. Brad. Again, Stoltz, so, thank you very much. Um, there's some acknowledgments that I want to make as uh, executive call out uh, um, just for the Township Board. Um, Clerk sit here. Um, Township Treasurer, Kathy Elliott. Trustee Foster. Trustee Brian May. And also not present today, Trustee Joseph Ames. Our federal partners that uh, we work with very closely. Congresswoman Lisa McLean, Eva, you are here. Senator Gary Peters and Michael Schmidt, I did not see him here. Uh, Senator Debbie, Debbie Stavon and Emily Malellis from Governor Whitman's office, who, because of the events of the rain, I think she had to back away. Oh, she is. Okay, she is here. Appreciate you coming. Our state partners. This is our $5 million man for Chesterfield Township, Senator Kevin Hurtel. Senator brought in $5 million for a Chesterfield interceptor, which uh, will uh, help us re uh, reline and service an interceptor that was built years ago. <laughs> Been a great partner from the day he started. State Representative Jay Boyer. Did Jay make it today? Jay was also uh, a key part in helping us uh, secure that funding. State Representative Alicia St. Germain and her assistant, Mary Kay Sobey. I'm Mary Kay here. See you back. Thank you. And we have Macomb County Partners. Uh, Executive Mark Apple, Macomb County Drain Commissioner Candace Miller, Macomb County Clerk Anthony Fellini, who could not make it. His assistant is here. Uh, Macomb County Treasurer Larry Rocker, who said he wanted to do everything he could to get here, but he had a, a, a little bit more important meeting in Lansing that he had to uh, be to attend. And we're going on to the commissioners, Phil Kraft and Chairman Don Brown. Are you here? We're there you go. Roll. Uh, I'd like to recognize our community leaders from some uh, surrounding communities. Uh, Supervisor Frank Viviano from Macomb Township, City of Baltimore Mayor Tom Saman, Lex Township Supervisor Anthony Reeder, and Washington Township Supervisor Sam Kavid. Sam, I know you work here. I would also like to thank and recognize all of the staff of Chesterfield Township. One person that uh, I did forget to mention is Supervisor Rick Staffikis from Shelby Township. Quick note on all these individuals. Since I became Township Supervisor, these individuals have been key in helping me and offering me guidance to fulfill this role. A transition from law enforcement to municipal management is not the same. And I'm missing something. Oh, Supervisor Ken Rickett, but he already called you out. <laughs> so, I want to go right to the point, and I'm going to cut this back from, uh, I know my previous two went a little bit long, but I'm going to cut this back and go right to the point. I want to address the financial position of Chesterfield Township. We are a very strong financial community and always have been. We recently approved a bond sale for Chesterfield Township to improve our infrastructure, which is desperately needed. Standard and Force Mobile came into the township, we looked at our books, and what they walked away with uh, just enhanced our township. We went from an LA minus bond rating to a double A strong. Locally, that is a huge step. We are now in one of the top 5% of all townships in Chesterfield, or in the state of Michigan. 
Some of the comments I'd just like to repeat. Chesterfield uh, demonstrated, Chesterfield Township demonstrated a strong economy with large residential and diverse tax base. Chesterfield Township demonstrated strong budgetary flexibility, including strong, flexible performance measures and available reserves that remain high and strong. We have strong management practices with policies that are under fiscal management assessments and within methodologies, highlighted by monthly expense to actuary budget reports. And I can thank our finance department and treasurer Elliott for performing that, the uh, most tasks. We have a very strong fiber capital plan, formal investment plans, which include debt management, fund reserves, and fund management, all within policies. We have a strong institutional framework score, and it's based on our history and our future. We have a well-funded employee pension program, a self-funded health care system, and a very strong OPEP, post-employee retirement benefit. According to standard reports, the rate improvements of this township reflect their opinion of the township's property tax base, the expansion, the growing population, the continued maintenance of an extremely strong reserve, in addition to the management's expectation of maintaining balanced operations with no significant plans to draw down reserves. That's a lot of words, I'm not a finance guy, but kudos goes to our financial staff and our financial management. And it just states how financially strong Chesterfield Township is and will continue to be. We currently have a fund balance that sits at 127% of our yearly operation. Our continued goals are going to be to continue to receive the GFOA Distinguished Budgeting Award as we have done for the last four years. We will continue to attract commercial retailers and residential developers at a high pace, such as Redwood Homes and a very large commercial industrial plant called The Stamp, which is being built on Sierra Drive on 23 Mile Road, and it's roughly a 400,000 square foot highly technical manufacturing facility. Our township's taxable value and SCB continues to demonstrate expansion. Our state uh, value increased this year from a little under in 2022, 2.5 billion to 2.7 billion, roughly a growth of 10.1% above the norm. Our taxable value also increased from just over 2 billion to 2.1 billion. This growth was 7.4%. Again, and it's expected to continue and grow. Plans that we're going to continue to expand up here in Chesterfield Township. We became the sole owner of Brandenburg Park. Brandenburg Park was a joint venture between the state of Michigan and Chesterfield Township with an agreement created in 1974. We recently purchased the state out of their share, and we now are the sole owners of that. We used ARPA funds to do that. We immediately and completely rebuilt the boat ramps and boat launches at Brandenburg Park, again funded with our ARPA funds. We spent hundreds of thousands of dollars replacing barbecue pits, barbecue grills for family events, including improvements in our pavilions. We've had sun shades around our well known splash pad. We have a floating dock at Brandenburg Park and our Weber Paddle Park for our canoeists and our paddle boards. We've also paved a continued walkway from and inside Brandenburg Park, which gives you a path along the newly uh, formed fish habitat from three years ago, where you can now walk in a circle around the entire park. This highlights our soft shore. We'll continue to improve the appearance of Chesterfield Township at all of our entry points. I will, I will, we're in discussions right now to highlight one of the entry points at Paul Road, and I hope to have that in front of the board, which will be a visual improvement in the coming year. We now more maintain the 23 mile road and I 94 interchange. What, uh, as I, if you recall my previous statements, 23 mile and I 94 interchange, which is currently under reconstruction 
uh, overgrown grass. I wanted it to look like you're going down M59, you're going up 75, you see all the hills. The lawn is mowed and manicured. We entered into an agreement with them that it started this year, we will continue to, continue to approve it, and we will expand it and make it as a manicured lawn when we come into the township, particularly at 23994. We will continue to add pathways to our Salt River Nature Preserve, which is off Jefferson at the end of Hubbard. We will continue to focus on pathways connectivity throughout the township to all of our parks, to our municipal buildings, and then also with a long-term plan of regional connectivity to New Baltimore, going north to our northern communities and our southern communities. We partnered with a tree planting program at Pollard Park. This Pollard Park is at New Haven Road 994. That is uh, under design for future expansion and growth also. 25 trees have recently been planted on that property with a partnership from the Anchor Bay Rotary, Macomb County Planning and Economic Development, Relief in Michigan, and the Anchor Bay High School students that came out to help us plan. The funding for these trees was sponsored by Green Macomb, American Bloom, CM Railways, and the Anchor Bay Rotary. Are there any Rotary members here today? Please raise your hand. You guys did an amazing job. And we'll be our parks and rec programming and senior services, we will continue to expand in these areas. Spring cleanup day, where residents and volunteers came together, we've focused areas of 23 and Gratiot, 23 and 94, the Gratiot Corridor. We will continue to improve on the Gratiot Corridor design. Our big rig days was, is a big hit. It is scheduled to come in September. And this is where our local companies and vendors came in. As many of us in municipalities have all needed to do is bring these companies in, open it up, open the doors up, and let the children play. Our busters through a parts of rec continues to be a, a, um, a leader in offering programming for our seniors at a reasonable rate where the seniors and the residents can travel throughout the state or throughout the region and enjoy trips. I want to thank SMART and also Richmond Lennox CMS, Jeff Light. Jeff, did, uh, identify yourself away from the crew. Everybody <laughs> knows he's not working here. But I want to thank Richmond Lennox CMS for providing that connector transportation for us, which allows for that program. Our senior activities and program, we will continue to focus on working on enhancing all experiences for our seniors within our township. This includes fitness classes, car clubs, and holiday-themed social gatherings. One of the biggest hits, and again, I have to thank the county executive when I first became township supervisor. He reached out to me and said, hey, you need to go look at this event that I think fits your community and it turned out to be one of the biggest hits we've had in our township that, 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 I, that I can even recall. I'd like to play a short video of this event. This was our accident.
And I got to thank, again, the Chesterfield Township staff, the facilities, the DPW workers that all helped put that on. Four days, each fisherman uh, caught over 100 pounds, uh, nearly 100 pounds of, of fish in the lake a mile out from Randburg Shore. Our hope is that that event returns either on a biannual basis or a yearly basis, along with other fishing tournaments. I think that that's our identity, that lake is our jewel, and we need to expand on it, and that will be, again, the focus of Chesterfield Township to highlight that part for those events, along with entertaining the families that can come and visit. We also performed, on the DPW side, we performed seven very large open cut sewer repairs. This is continued maintenance and investment in our infrastructure throughout the township. As you can see when you leave here, we are a growing community. This will continue through 2024, and there are several more uh, scheduled to be done. We have a complete re redesign and repair and a pending renovation to our township municipal offices. Um, this will be about a six million dollar investment in both parking and building improvements within the structure. Again, all designed to help our residents and serve the residents better, along with helping our employees. All of this happens while we manage a complete water loss on August 1st, thanks to Macomb Township. <laughs> If we're home township, could do better. <laughs> Stop causing us problems. I think this is the way that is also a way to do Okay, side. That was the uh, that was a, that was an odd event, a rare event. We partnered with everybody around us with the home township to resolve it. It was four hours and ten minutes. We were out complete water, and I think we came through that event unscathed and we'll continue to prepare and do partnerships with Macomb Township, New Baltimore, and anyone else that we can partnership to make sure that when those events happen, which they're going to, we can mitigate them and manage them quickly. We're also going to continue to add to our sidewalks to our municipal offices and around our, uh, around our township buildings and uh, with pathways and connectivity. That has been a huge investment, and it started with the previous supervisor, Dan Acovetti, who I took over for, and we just continued that plan. Our pathways plan is expanding, and we will continue to reach out to other communities and surrounding communities for connectivity. Everything we do in Chesterfield Township has to be a partnership. Everything. We can't do it alone, whether it's another community we partnership, or uh, create a partnership with, or with our political friends, our elected leaders. The biggest one, again, is Candace Miller. She has been a godsend for me sitting down. The relationship and the communication immediately started with her through me to Senator Cortell's office. And the accomplishment was a $5 million grant, an award that we, got, we received. That partnership also continued with Congresswoman Lisa McClain. Our main pump station on Jefferson, which needed a complete and total rebuild, we had to do it. These rains, if, with all those repairs on the right now, would have caused catastrophic events for our township. But along with this, and prior to these rates that we're experiencing in the last two days, we partnered with the, uh, the Drain Commissioner's Office, and we began to clear some of these coming creeks and, pat and waterways that, uh, that travel through uh, Chesterfield Township. Alas Creek, Pitts Drain, the North Branch of the uh, Fish Creek, the Schmidt Drain. And again, we will continue that process, because as we've seen in the last 48 hours, it has to happen. But yeah, we also want to reach out to SMART, a partnership with SMART, and again, you mentioned Richmond Line of CMS for their transportation side, and the key public safety partner that we have is MedStar EMS. MedStar EMS is a contract EMS vendor, and they are amazing partners. We call them on, uh, at all times, and they respond. So, uh, again, partnerships is everything for us, except for the wall. Tom Smart, here. We're trying to work. 
Policy takes the lead away here in Chesterfield Township. But again, uh, it's a passion of mine. It's where I came from. It's where, where I started. Our fire department continues to move towards becoming an accredited agency. We spoke about this last year. They are in the process. It's going to take them roughly 36 months to get there. Similar to what we did on the police side when I was the chief. You see an outside accredited agency come in and evaluate their operation. They create measures for you and they create standards for you that your community can expect you to deliver a model to them that is acceptable. We recently initiated a study we tore down a fire station on Jefferson because it was old, antiquated, and disrepaired. We recently initiated a study with our partners. Uh, in public safety, and our vision is to replace that station in some means and some capacity in the coming years. Our fire department has also trained all our township employees in CPR, ADD, stop the bleeding, and they will continue this internal training for our township employees and our staff through this coming year. This is not to make them, the benefit is that they're available to us should an emergency happen within the building. But the bigger benefit is that our employees are trained and capable off at home where they can reach out and provide a service should it be needed and at least be an initial first responder. So I'd like to thank our fire chief, Craig Miller, for instituting that. Craig, would you please stand and recognize? And then also, And they continue to train and prepare for high-risk events. And these are the events that we wish and hope never happen. One of the training evolutions recently was the uh, response to an active shooter in a school. And I'd like to show you just a quick video of that training element that they, uh, that they recorded for us. Our North Bay Industrial Park, which we're sitting in today, as you can see, uh, it, it's a complete redesign and rebuild. Unfortunately, you had to travel through it today, but the road was in such disrepair up here, we had factories that were threatening to leave the community, and we couldn't have that happen. So we instituted an SAD at their request. What you see over here now is a partnership with Macomb County Department of Roads, 
This is a total and complete rebuild, right down to virgin, virgin soil and gravel, and they are replacing it. It is currently underway, as you can see, you can drive it through it, and we're hoping that that will be done by the end of the year. Our main pump station, as I recently uh, mentioned, previously mentioned, uh, again, was in complete disrepair. A $6 million uh, renovation that was required. There were four pumps in there, two electric, two diesel, and they hadn't been serviced. They've been serviced, they were just out of date and worn out. With the help of, uh, again, Congresswoman Lisa McLean, with the assistance of Candace Miller, we received a $4 million grant of community development funds from the federal government, and this is one of the shafts that is being replaced. This shaft goes down roughly 35 feet with a pump and a motor that pumps it back out to the And again, this is, uh, there's four holes in there. So I'm going to move back on to our technology. My first speech that I gave to everybody was a technology focus. We, we need to modernize how we operate in Chesterfield Township. We continue to do those technological improvements. One of them was a transition to BSA. I was unfamiliar with BSA when they were. We sat down and listened to them. It's the largest program that most municipalities use, but we transitioned to their cloud service. We were one of their testing agencies. It's a five-year transition. It is going very well. There are programs that we need or, or improvements that we need to make, but it is now expanded through our, throughout our entire township operation. We will continue to invest in our IT infrastructure. We're installing Wi-Fi with the ability for cameras and surveillance throughout all of our township properties and locations. And one of the biggest things that we've taken on, again, with the uh, funding from our bus, is an AIM system. It is an advanced information watering system where the homeowners will have the ability by either internet or phone app to look at their water usage and their bills and be able to decide um, if there's a problem within their system. A lot of our complaints are my water is uh, my water bills too high and rain. We, we're going to give that homeowner or that business owner the ability to tap it on his computer and have it on his app to where he can control it and at least call us in a much sooner fashion. Closing up here and wrapping up, I just want to welcome some new businesses to Chesterfield Township. Commonwealth Living Center on 23 Mile Road, Ascension Hospital on 26 Mile Road, their hospital facility, Town Place Suites uh, by Marriott on Hall Road, Walgreens, which has been there, which recently reopened and expanded, Maurice's Women's Shopping, uh, Retail Outlet, Racing Reptiles, Team Rehabilitation Physical, Physical Therapy, and Champion Boxing. I'm going to wrap up real quick, if you don't mind, uh, cut it short of the, that I did in the previous years, but I want to make some thank yous. And I want to address a couple of things that are still in process and hopefully to speak to in detail next year. Our township hall is going to get a complete renovation of Nagel. That's underway right now. We have partners and architect working with us to redesign it again to address some of the failures and the modernization that that building needs. We're in the process of uh, purchasing from the Anchor Bay School District one of their schools, Sugar's Elementary School, which uh, many of you have attended. We've turned it into our community center. That sale, complete sale, should be done in my hopes and if the board approves it by the end of this year. With that being said, there are several more things going on in Chesterfield Township that I could mention. And when you drive around here and look, you don't need me to stand here and tell you about it, but we are a thriving township. That thriving ability is all because of the interest that people have here in Chesterfield Township. And that is demonstrated to me by every single one of you who are here today taking an interest in what our township is doing and the direction that it is going. So I thank you personally, and the staff thanks you personally for taking time to help with your busy days and schedule to come here, find stalls, 
drag down our roads under uh, reconstruction and stand, sit there, and listen to me talk. Mm -hmm. I want to thank each and every elected official that is in here, as I already mentioned. As I came into this supervisor role from public safety, I, had, I thought I knew everything. I did. And with the guidance and support of every one of you that reached out to me on the elected level and said, offered advice, gave encouragement, is why I continue to enjoy this job. I now realize I am not Superman. I thought I was. I thought I could fix everything. I'm not. And all I want to do is emulate most of you here in this room that are elected leaders. You've set the tone, I watch you, I follow you, I pay attention to you, and you teach me a lot. Please, you are so important to me and to this community. I can't thank you enough. We are all here. I said this when I was a police officer, and it's true now, just in a different fashion. We are here to serve. We are here to serve the residents of the township and the residents of our communities and the residents as best we can, to the best ability that we can. And the last couple of days have been difficult. Basements flooding, phones ringing, we've all been dealing with them. But our responsibility is to at least do what we can to mitigate that, stop it, and come up with a solution to hopefully stop it from happening again. That's my pledge, and I know that it's your pledge too. So again, I thank you for being here. I want to call out one specific person. Steve Duchesne, would you please stay? Steve has decided to retire. Um, Steve came here under Dan Anchovich's watch, and he brought a vast wealth of municipal management. He started out as the HR director and coordinator, and about three months into me becoming supervisor, I'm scratching my head wondering why I did this. And I sit down with Steve Duchesne, who has 47 years of municipal management, and he says, hey, calm down, little boy. Relax. Much like the advice that most of you gave me. He's decided to go into retirement. I actually made him cry yet. I don't know how much he did. I think we got a bit. But I want to call him out and thank him for his time here with me and the service to Chesterfield Township that he's given us just the, in, in the few six and a half years that he's been here has been immense. He's changed the direction. He's helped refocus where we should be going. And there is nothing but praise and admiration from my position to you, and I want you to enjoy the retirement and your consulting or whatever direction you choose to go. But enjoy your grandsons and enjoy the football. Well, I'm afraid that the drain is plugged, and if we don't clear it, 
these houses in the subdivision are going to are going to are going to flood. Couldn't leave, me. but to him it was no big deal. That was his job. That's what he thought he had to do. And I pat him on the back. I said, "Don't do that." <laughs> He's going to do that. You're good. We'll get through this. But that was the dedication of a township employee, just on his own, that's walking through the tension pond trying to make sure that our residents were safe. And again, we're all overwhelmed. These things happen. But that's the commitment of every employee in the township. And that's what I want to see. Just want to do it in a safe manner. So with that being said, again, I thank each and every one of you for coming here. I'm glad that you're taking an interest in Chesterfield Township. I'm glad to see everyone here paying attention to me, who's learning this job as we go. But know that I lean on every single one of you for direction and thought, and I appreciate everything you do for, for this subject. That being said, thank you very much. I'll turn it back over to Mark, because I know that's what everybody's here. <laughs> I don't know when I walked in, I said, man, I didn't even know you were coming. 
in that, well, everywhere, right? It's everywhere. Well, in the last two days, we turned on what we call our emergency bypass, which we have only used one other time. And we now have used it twice in the last two days. If we had not done that, we would have had three to four thousand basements flooded in St. Clair Shores alone. So things could have been a lot worse in Macomb County. And honestly, with all of the great improvements, you know, it's not the uh, most interesting thing in the world sometimes, I guess, right? To clean out drains and muck it out and get rid of the bad wood and all these kinds of things. Until you get a heavy rain. And everybody says, why isn't this rain working, right? So working really closely with you know, every township supervisor that's here and many others in all the cities as well. We have been, we've had great partnership with all of them. We have cleaned out so many drains in the last seven years that weren't touched for 20, 30 years. It couldn't have been a lot worse. And I think we've done 3,000 feet in just in the country just in the last six months. So we really have, it could be worse. We have a long way to go, but we're making huge progress in working on all these various pumps. I don't think we're going to ask Kevin to speak, maybe, but you should. But I just want to point out there as well to our state senator, he is like a $5 million man. I'm telling you. Not only did he help with $5 million for Chesterfield Township for critical infrastructure, he just helped us get another $5 million for a fantastic project uh, as well down in the city of St. Clair Shores. It's going to help us reduce our combined sewer overflows out into Lake St. Clair by about 50%. So we are making huge progress on water quality, and uh, but it takes a team, right? You've got a great team here. We have, I think we have a great team in our department. We work so closely with Mark and his entire team, and uh, Ryan Santos, I don't know if he's still here, but uh, he didn't have any here to begin with when he's lost in the last couple of days. I think I was the roads. Anyway, I, I really appreciate that opportunity to just give, uh, say a few words. But thanks so much. Thanks, Chad. I want to thank all of you for coming today, and uh, please check, check the Chamber website for the next event. We hope to see you there. Have a great and healthy week. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I, hope I hope they bring us the pickup truck. I really want the pickup truck. Oh, you're kidding me. This is what we're driving. This is not what I thought. Dude, how are you going to fit in this? I'm not going to fit in it. Are you going to fit in it? You're driving, buddy. I ain't driving. I don't want to drive. You're, You're driving. driving. I ain't driving. I don't want to drive. I don't even think I can get in this. Thing. Holy cow. You want to go first? Uh, this is... Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Oh. Great. Look at David. David hooked us up with the Grinch. I know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Holy cow! This is this is, a, this is not what I expected. Uh, no. I thought we were going to get a classic vehicle. I'm Mark, I am so sorry. Oh, it's a classic yeah. vehicle. I, oh, I, it is a classic vehicle from. I am so sorry. So. <laughs> My grandkids would love this, but uh, uh, well, at least we know one thing: it's uh, easy to start. And, uh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna better be get better get going. So impressive when we pull in. Right? This is gonna be so impressive. Are you, are you staying? Oh, <laughs> let's do this, baby. Oh yeah. Oh. We'll try it that way. <laughs> Off to Whoville. Off to Whoville.